We're technically adults. Okay, restart. Are we still those? <laughs> no, that's good. It's been a long... <laughs> okay, restart. Are we still alive? Uh, no. Because like, isn't this whole thing like a proof of life thing? Uh, no, we uploaded... Um... Conan, I know. Conan. Yeah. But that could have been... But, but that, that was... Yeah, that could have been recorded. Also, ages, that yeah. was probably a month ago. <laughs> We're doing a podcast thingy. Yep. Yeah. Because that's what hit, hit with Jesus, all the kitties. That was over a month ago, wasn't right? it? Right? Yeah. Uh, Battle Block yeah. was also a month ago. So we're all actually here, that's too. So that's part of the thing. Oh, it's yeah. like we... This is a group activity. <laughs> we've been so radio silent because scheduling and maybe some medical issues here and there, but mostly scheduling, but we're all actually in a room together, guys. Finally. Wow. It might seem like we're not in the same room. <laughs> But we are. So this is me, Chris, joined by Hi, Joseph. I'm Joseph. And also Miles. What up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> Your boy, Fresh420. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ban him. Uh, how do podcasts work? Okay, so this is our first time doing a podcast for podcast virgins. Ooh. My cherry pop. <laughs> Treat me gentle. Um, how are we gonna open this? I guess, uh... How about uh, how about I open the floor to Miles? Should we how wrap? About... Yeah. <laughs> Should we wrap? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, Miles, you want to? I wanna, can't wrap. You want to share what you've been playing with the I, class? I can't wrap, but <laughs> but I have been playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have you been playing lately? Uh, so um, as you know, I uh, I recently purchased um, Arkham Knight. Yes. Uh, for the Ooh. and uh, it's fun for the P four. It, it is it, fucking. Gorgeous. It, it, it is gorgeous. It doesn't chug around, which I was very surprised like by. Like the PC yeah. version still fucking does. Uh, PS4 Pro is a beast. Yeah, I remember the Batmobile stuff running a little iffy on the original PS4. Probably fine on the Pro, uh, though. It's, yeah, the Pro. Yeah. And you were saying people had issues with People the did not like the... I don't think it was the controls. I just didn't think they liked the... The Batmobile segments. Uh, a lot of complaints about the Batmobile. Uh, I know I changed the Batmobile controls myself, but there was an option for it, so I was fine. Like after you just that. L two move and then shoot. I think a lot of people didn't like being forced into the Batmobile itself, <laughs> which I was like, "Well, that's Batman, so you probably <laughs> bought the wrong." I, I, I loved the way it integrated with puzzles and stuff like that, going back yeah. and forth between on yeah. foot and was, it, yeah. was really and the cool. combat was. I, I was probably on easy, but it was like. I'm just blowing everything up. Like, I'm not, I'm <laughs> not doing knees. anything but blowing everything up. It's, yeah. It's, that was cool. And then there was, like, the, uh, you charge up however many shots to do missiles and stuff. And I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. cool. It's so like I'm a mech game at that yeah, point. Yeah, really. <laughs> I haven't played a vehicle-based game that controls that well since, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's kind of been the yeah. peak. Right? Like, it was... On, honestly, it's cool. And then, uh... The combat's very simple. Uh, triangle is counter, and you just mash the shit out yeah, of Yeah, because you played and... Middle-Earth prior, too. It's basically yeah. that. I, I still think Batman... You dodged so much better in that yeah, game. Yeah, Batman's still the best implementation of that system. Yeah. Like, Middle-Earth's fine, but... M Middle Earth. I felt in, well, but... in Middle Earth half the time I'd be doing a combo, and I'd just like, how did this man slap me out of my combo? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas Batman, I'm I like, no, I am like booting everybody in the teeth from like across, and you can just like yeah, across I, the entire yeah, fucking I'm map. I'm saying to him like, I I somehow managed to split two dudes like across the street from each oh, yeah. other. Boosh, and, boosh, and Batman boosh, bat gliding flies across, 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 <laughs> across, 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 across. Karate Kid. Like the the wings come out, and kicks him in the face. I loved it. Yeah, that and, game. I honestly, I'm probably gonna play that one again soon. Uh, so, so yeah, that uh, one uh, don't get on PC. Still, no, still borked. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so uh, anything else? That that's that. Um, I don't think we should do one person at a time. I think we should go around. Sure. Because like then it's then it's gonna leave one person out of the conversation. Yeah, Chris. Sure. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what have you been playing, Chris? Uh, a lot of things. I guess the thing I've been playing uh, the most of lately is uh, Middle, Middle Earth. Earth, Shadow of War. I finally got around to doing some of that, because uh, I'd heard they got rid of the whole loot Michael box stuff. I guess playing it now, I couldn't tell you what's different now versus how it was then. Uh, I feel like uh, the biggest difference there was a that I've seen mentioned is um, like the XP gates. Like You kind of hit something, and it's like, I should just throw $20 at it. Yeah, I haven't, part. I haven't run into any... like. I guess I have run into um, like difficulty, diff difficulty spikes. spikes, but it's more like AI behaviors and weaknesses or, or like uh, good game design. Yeah, strengths of it. Well, sometimes it can feel not like it. Like I will say, as much as fun as I've been having with the game, actually, it is it's also one of the most frustrating games I've ever played. Well, the Assassin's Creed parkour. Well, that's the thing. Like so many buttons are responsible for multiple things. So when you're trying to do something really quickly in that game. 
It's a, da, 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 button inputs and you're rolling just does something dice. else. Yeah. It's like, do. I'm going to quickly run up in the sky and, and dominate him. It's like, nope, I'm hanging off the ledge. What the hell happened? <laughs> um, so that can be frustrating. Uh, what's the, the fun frustrating can be where like shit just as good doesn't go your way in terms of just the AI, like piling on you with all the different characters showing up. And it's like, like for instance, the, the very first guy I mind controlled and had him become my bodyguard. The first time I called him in, he betrayed me on the spot. And that was just like, a, <laughs> that was just the system doing its thing. And it's just like, this is my life. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that kind of stuff is fantastic. Uh, I am kind of running out of steam about 20 hours in. Uh, even if I stop playing now, I think I've gotten my, I think that's, the open world formula is yeah like it's a little too much. Well, I guess all that's the thing. Like, I, I, in in the game, I, I'm at about the point where I was when I like finished the last one. This game's like two or three times the size or, yeah. or bigger of the first game because first game it had just the two areas. This one has like four or five or I something. I love like seeing that. multiple environments, but holy shit, if it's they're the all thing. the size of a game, yeah. I'm not going to get yeah. to the end of so, them. Um, and then, and that was my problem with Horizon Zero Dawn. Thing over yeah. and, over again. Uh, yeah. and, and at least it's not, like there are some collectibles on the map and stuff, but it's not really about that. Like the, the gameplay loop is more go to a new area, uh, like establish points of interest, uh, start whittling away at the enemy forces and either killing or commanding them, uh, creating a power structure of your own and then taking on the big castle. And that's and that's fun enough. I'm having Pick a good up time. collectibles as you go. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know how much of that I'm going to keep, keep playing, but uh, it's been good. How about you, Joe? <sighs> Yakuza 0. <laughs> you got me playing that again was, now, too. Oh, it's... was uh, So finally released on PC... And probably the most optimized port I've seen of a game. Even though at first you were... At first, I so I fucked up, and I super sampled times 8 from 1440p. I don't know what resolution that is. <laughs> Maximum. <laughs> but I was upset that I couldn't hit 60 FPS. Uh, yeah, turn that down. Play at a reasonable resolution. And uh, Although I've seen um, some people with a, I don't know, i7... Whatever, whatever, and uh, was it your processor holding you back? Ten sixty. No, uh, it doesn't use processor at okay. all, as far as I'm aware of. Like for out of the ordinary, um, but a ten sixty can do four K sixty FPS ultra settings. Like that's fucking insane. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's an older game. That computer, yeah, our our, our recording computer will max oh. Yakuza um, hey. at, at the highest resolution that you can <clears> buy a monitor for. You know, as far as I'm aware of. Nice. Um, but the game itself uh, is absolutely fantastic. I for the longest time, Chris was like, "Dude, this is for you. This is your fucking." Even game. though I haven't even finished it myself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, well, you put how many hours into it? Yeah. What a was lot. it? A hundred? Uh, maybe eighty. Maybe eighty. Okay. Yeah. Um. And I immediately kind of, I was like, I don't want to plug in my fucking PlayStation, and immediately wrote it off and refunded it. But now that I'm actually playing it, that is a very good game. It it's is. like a Japanese deadly serious soap opera, but also like the side activities are like the goofiest shit. Like, hey, teach yeah. this dominatrix how to punish her subservience properly. And I haven't seen any <laughs> of the side choice. content yet. I think I've just done, like, the main yeah. tutorial boss, essentially. Yeah. Uh, which is a big tatted up dude that's, like, punching me with fire fists. Very... The lore for this game is incredible. You're just, like, beating your way up, like, several flights of stairs. Yeah, yeah. Control. I, like... Uh, I don't know what the kick is. The, the, the drop, drop kick. kick. Yeah. Dude out of a fucking window on, like, the third floor. <laughs> just... <laughs> Because he wouldn't fuck off. He just it's keeps it's, it's back, enough of a reason. Bash his head in the urinal. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That, that game is absolutely absurd. It, it's um, and you combat's mean, still like kind of floaty, which is what I expected. Right. Um, it's it's visceral. Ubisoft. I know <laughs> you're listening. Um, it's visceral. Like your hits are fantastic. And but connect. I, well, yes, yeah. yeah. And when you do uh, the execute moves, Ooh. bunny ears execute. Um, it looks good. It feels good. It uh, it's awesome because we don't have time to spam the screenshot button for some gorgeous <laughs> visuals. But uh, I honestly, the game is absolutely fantastic. And, and you haven't even gotten to the second playable character. I feel like that was I was loving the game. That's the guy with the iPad. Yeah, right? uh, uh, Majima. Majima. Yeah. Um, you'll have to tell me what you think of him, because, like, that was the moment, like, I was already, hey, I love this game, but when I saw that intro for him, I was like, I'm gonna play all these games. <laughs> like, oh my god. I need them all. Yeah. And that's the problem I'm running into now, is I need all of these games, and I just hope to Christ that the PC version is selling enough. That yeah, people, buy Yakuza 0. Hey, this is not sponsored yet. Yakuza. Hey, Sega. Yakuza hit team. us up. Get, get us, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, yeah, uh, Yakuza Kawami's supposed to happen on PC. And there's eventually. already talk of 6. 
uh, yes, which I'd love to play that at 60 FPS. And that's the order it's come out on PS4 here, so... One, Kiwami, six. And then, yeah, two is supposed to be soon. Two is yeah. uh, this month, yeah. So, Very excited. So what else have you been playing, Miles? Uh, well, uh, I, I like to delve into uh, sports <laughs> games. And, uh, yes! Is it, is it Chelsea, son? And you two nerds don't. Well, so. you've... Uh, you've uh, given up, not given up on NHL. You've tr- traded in your previous NHL. You waited yeah. for the new one now. Yeah, so uh, I-, I traded it in only because like I-, I hit my ceiling, I hit my peak. Did I what was, you need to? I was like, I'm... and it's only a month until the next one. So yeah, I, w- I was playing. I-, I got to the point where I was like, I was mad. I'm gonna break you, controller. And then I was like, but I'm having fun. And then. I took it out and I slapped it in the case and I was like, "Get okay, straight in." Time and to get the shit out of here. And, so. and also, we we use the correct terminology here, Miles. It's a roller. <laughs> if, if you're talking about Chelsea, <laughs> it has to be a roller. It has to be a roller. Oh my bad. Sorry. There's a um, there's a, a type of people, a folk who allow me to refer edit to it myself. as Chel season. So the, it's uh, Chelsea. Song. The, the roller. <laughs> So, um, so I I, uh, I downloaded the beta for the for NHL 19. Yeah. Does um, that play offline? So I had, so I was, I was hanging out and, uh, I had to, uh, get the trial for plus because my plus has finally run out. Good man. And and I was like, I'm not re-upping that. I was like, two day trial? Yes, please. (laughs) So I played and, uh, it fixed every issue that I ever had with NHL 18. You said the skating is different in this one? It's amazing. It's, it's like, it's almost as realistic as you can fucking get. Wow. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna play one of these. Like I used to like sports games. We can games. stream Chelsea. Yeah. Um, I will teach find it. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it. Well, there, what was that one that we played with your brother? Where uh, I was ju- I was on body checking duty. Well, you were on body checking duty and goal scoring. And, like you were actually the MVP of the team, which <laughs> Evan and I were like, no, 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 you just hit people because it's all you want to do. And then this yeah. this asshole here led our team in goals because he apparently has a natural talent for hockey games. Hockey man. Um, I, NHL 2003 hits. Still uh, one of the best sports so, games. Like I've ever a- as if there wasn't enough evidence out there that I am a child. Uh, this year's hockey is the one that actually has me the most interested because of the cover. It's like primary orange colors. <laughs> yeah, for the longest Just, time, <laughs> NHL has been the like white, white background behind the character. Usually. And, and now it's like, I see orange and I'm like, oh, I, I wonder if I should look at it. It's, like, I'm not going to lie. That's what actually drew me to Forza Horizon in the first place. The color it was, it was behind pink. the... pink. Yeah. It's just hot yeah. pink. And I was like, I wonder, like, I don't like racing games really that much, but I should check this one out and fucking... Since off Burnout, I had written off every racing game ever because <laughs> those are the only ones that I've ever liked. And then, yeah, um, Force Force is good. So, uh, so I, I played the uh, the world of the world of Chell. Yes, yeah. is, is what it's called. Uh, you do. Is that uh, like the online mode? Yeah, Did they they're one it? of the online modes. Is it actually world of Chell. Chell? Yes, yes. Oh, that's it's so good. It's amazing. Yes, and uh, you do. They know. You do 1v1v1. Um, you're on an outdoor rink setting, so it's supposed to be like, ah, oh, it's like your childhood. How do you or... do 1v... Is there like three nets? No, there's one goalie. There's 1v1v1. Oh, one do you have to get past a certain point, then bring it back? Nope. Once that's how we the... played as kids. I don't yeah, that's, a, that's normal. That's how normal people okay. play. But this is an EA game, and... Shoot it in, idiot. And God. so, yeah, so if the puck lands in front of the net and you're right there, you slap it in kind of thing. So that's it about to go in. You have in. the option to pay $5 to get it to... <laughs> EA money yeah, joke. See, uh, honestly, I would... Uh, <laughs> Cheap shot. Like, <laughs> I, I would, uh... I, I would pay... I would pay money to... To excel in the chell. Sure. So, actually, so... Well, my, that's one of the the biggest things. You just gave them, like, a... Branding. Excel and Chell. <laughs> Pay five dollars. Um, Excel and Chell. So, so my my initial issue with it was um, based on your size, uh, your height, and your uh, weight uh, reflects on how your character skates now, mm-hmm. which is usually how it works actually. Right. So but the that's smaller. Never, that's so never been a thing? that's never been a thing. Okay. Um, so when you're a smaller Imagine player, the biggest dude. Okay. Just like uh, no, just listen. Just, just listen. So um, when you're a smaller player, you do quick little steps to cut in and out of traffic. Uh, when you're um, you know, like a medium size character, like six two, six three, six four. Um, you're all the yeah, big yeah. player six nine. <laughs> so, um, you know, you're all about speed and going fast and stuff. And uh, and then the biggest players are generally supposed to be slower, long, powerful strides. They and still if they move hit fast. You, you're going to die. Yeah, and they improve the hitting as well. Cool. Um, but yeah, so I was playing, and I made my character six feet tall. So I just I don't know, just the f- style of skating I wanted. And I played against this guy that was 6'5". He must have been. Right. And he was faster than me. Uh, he kept knocking me over. Uh, he scored five goals in like two minutes. So, And I was like, 
they're spo- my character's supposed to be faster. But so and I, I are those rules now? Yeah, so I don't know if that has something to do with like the level up system that was in it because there were perks that you oh, can get for your character it, and stuff, it. and there are side I, shit. I know sports games, but it's gotten pretty pay to win these days. Yeah, 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 especially for the online. Like, wait, uh, a lot of people I know will purchase the game and they'll purchase the gold or special edition or whatever because it gets them extra characters for the yeah, online. For the, I guess the, for the <laughs> ultimate yeah, hockey, team. hockey yeah. ultimate team. Can yeah. when you're creating your guy, like how short or how tall can you go? Can you like be four so feet on the, a job? No, the <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, the the smallest is I believe five six or five eight. Um, and that seems pretty ableist. The the small <laughs> the smallest character or the smallest character the smallest player in the league currently is five eight, I think. Really? Yeah, or five yeah. nine, five nine. Do they have a height restriction nope. in the NHL? No, nope. but you you, you, you might not five, perform well. Yeah, you could be five feet tall. Though the way that it's trending is that the smaller, faster, more skilled players are now becoming more prevalent in the NHL. Right. right. Whereas it used to be big players run each other over, Can take the hits. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so it was kind of annoying uh, being the smaller, faster character yeah. and having this dude just kind of like skate Steam up roll, yeah. and then do this. And, 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 and just my, my dude like flew across the ring doing circles and I was Through like... The glass. I, I rage quit. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm like, imagining you're not going to touch much of the online stuff. You do most of the like story mode or whatever is there. <sighs> that sounds like clean living to me. Well, I mean, whenever, whenever we're here and we play, usually we're playing computer stuff now. Yeah. So there would be it would be pointless to bring it over unless you. I'm were, shocked that isn't on unless we were doing PC uh, still. Yeah, they're bringing Madden to PC this year, but still no really? hockey, right? Yeah, I didn't know they're bringing Madden. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna buy FIFA because yeah, it's yeah, uh, I don't know. This is uh, I actually didn't put this like, in our like our little news doc. They're they're gonna, good games. They're complicated yeah. um, and stuff, yeah. and but they're, they're really good games. EA is uh, like they've had their their Origin Access thing for a while now, right? Where it's like oh, you yeah. pay a your subscription what and then been now three or four years something like that. But it's always been like older games. They're they're adding a premium tier to that where you get the new shit right away. Um, and people oh, were, that was announced at E3. And where people were talking good mess about that because it's like, hey, Madden's going to be on there this year. You're going to get your FIFA oh, and your shit. Anthem and all this stuff. And it's like, for not, someone like not me... Not a service for me, but... Yeah, yeah, like, I don't really partake in EA games, but for someone who's like, no, i got to have it all, like the sports stuff especially, that... And then buy one as dirt cheap. Yeah. If that a service also gives you discounts on games, then yeah, maybe. people will just... I don't think it's double dipping, but double yeah. dip. Honestly, bring, bring NHL on PC. Yeah, yeah what on, are you doing? Yeah. Honestly, if I had if I had a computer that could, you know, that was decent enough, like I would totally buy FIFA. Yeah. Um, I would then buy NHL, of course. Not Madden though. Football games are stupid. I'm not a fan of Madden. I I could never like playing Madden is as slow as watching Madden. Madden. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're well. The problem with them is that they're so overly complicated. Like yeah. it's just like. And uh, FIFA's pretty slow too, but I, I feel like the whistle's blown half the time. Well, it's, it's and NHL's lot. not much fucking around. No, it's um, it's right to the point. Yeah, that, I feel yeah. like it's the most active of the sports games. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's from Mario Tennis. Of, of all the sports I've ever stops. like watched, uh, hockey has been the one that kept my attention the most because it's very uh, comparatively few like stops and starts and stops and starts. Yeah. It's, it's like just, I, I love game, baseball. Yeah. I just can't fucking watch it. Yeah. It takes so goddamn long. Baseball's fun to play, not fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, I haven't bought an MLB game for a very long time. The yeah, best last one I had was single digits, like eight, I think. The best baseball game I ever played was Super Mario All Stars for the yeah. game. Ken Griffey Major League Baseball for the N sixty four. Every that. Mario sports game before the Wii U was fantastic. See, I really want yeah. a hockey one. I, I think I would play the shit out of well, the hockey. They, they, they did a hockey in they, the Mario Sports Mix thing for the Wii, but, but it, it wasn't yeah. a full... For the, well, th- there was the one for the the Winter Olympics, right? Was oh, like, there was that too. I don't know yeah. if they actually did yeah, another compilation. a hockey. One dedicated to a sport. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it's always been a, like, among others, like a mini-mode one. Like, I don't know what you call it either. Like, Super Mario... Uh, Chill. No. Just fucking <laughs> slashers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, so, is it a murder mystery yeah. sport? <laughs> Something like that. I would totally play the shit out of that, probably. <laughs> Mario murder mystery game. Be pretty good. That'd be uh, pretty great. Uh, that would that would be a Waluigi. Yeah, it's not far off from what I... Nintendo, <laughs> I want a Waluigi Wario co-op heist game. Do it. Do it. Please, Nintendo. Uh, what, what else have you been playing, Joe? Why are we jumping back to me? Because I don't Just want... follow the... Fuck! Okay, fine. Okay, you go. You, one more, one more. Okay, Octopath. 
Traveler Switch. Yes. I've been playing uh, a little less of that over the last week. Has One of getting... the most dialogue-heavy fucking things I've ever seen. Yeah, like the intro, uh, like I wasn't sure I was going to get into it because I've been kind of out of JRPGs for a long time. For good like, reason. I just, I used to love them, I just don't have the time for them anymore. And I started playing this one and I was like, ooh, this is probably going to be the same story again because I am just... The dialogue after dialogue, it's just not interesting enough. And then, then you get into the battles, like pretty soon, actually, and the that's that's where the game gotcha. just roped me all the way in. Yeah, uh, it's that is the most satisfying turn-based combat I've ever experienced in a game. It has the weakness system of like the Shin Megami Tensei Persona stuff, which means um, enemies actually have like elemental or weapon, the opposite of affinities, I guess weaknesses you would call it. Um, and if you hit them with that, um, you'll whittle down their defense. Uh, it'll be a set number. When you break that number, they get knocked out of the turn order and take damage from all sources to the maximum degree, oh. uh, which is really cool. So even if an enemy is like resistant to a type of damage, they will suddenly be open to it uh, during their broken phase. So is there like a dark, uh, darkest dungeon like turn order? Yeah. Oh, totally. It's yeah, not you, your side, then their side? It's like, uh, you see uh, at the top of the screen, you'll see what's remaining of this turn, and then you'll see the next turn as well. Oh. Uh, so you can actually actively plan. It's like, okay, I know this enemy is weak to this type, but he's further down the line, so I can afford to like maybe pop a heal now, or buff this character now, and then I can break his weakness in a couple tur- in a couple character turns. Okay, so there's more to it than I yeah. thought there was. Uh, plus, it also has the um, almost exactly the Brave and Default system from Bravely Default, although the way this works is every turn, your characters earn points, uh, that just kind of exist next to their name. Uh, at any point, though, uh, during your turn, you can bust those points and either, like, instead of attacking once, say you have three points, you can attack four times. Like, infuse your attack for a quadruple damage thing, or buff a area effect damage spell, like, four times. Uh, four is the maximum. Um, but yeah, you can get, do some really big chain combos in a way where it's just like, okay, uh, we're going to whittle away at this guy's defense keeping ourselves alive and then as soon as we break his defense we're going to pop all of your bonus points and throw everything into maximum attack and clear him out in one turn uh it's really good stuff uh is it visually like the abilities yeah that's the thing like this game it it looks gorgeous already yeah it has like a like a kind of purposefully shitty 16-bit art style for like the characters and the environments but it's like a 3D bent to everything. So the the 2D sprites exist in 3D space. They have shadows and light affects them. Uh, the 2D artwork is overlaid onto like a 3D world, like low polygon. This is an Unreal Engine 4. It is, game. yeah. Uh, and the lighting and particles and everything, it looks incredible. It, it, nothing looks like it. It has like a cool tilt shift as well, vignetting. So like you can only really properly see things that are in the foreground, but I don't know. I find that information doesn't get lost. I think this has been the only case ever that I've liked a vignetting effect yeah. on anything. I always hate it. Yeah, it ends up looking like a toy. I don't know. It's It's got a really good look to it. Uh, the story's been kind of here or there because it... It's the combat that's been pulling. Yeah, and, and I think I really like what they did with the story, which is there is no, so far at least, overarching end of the world, gotta save the galaxy, whatever, four heroes have chosen, blah, 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 blah. Like, all eight characters... That's the other gimmick with this game, is there's eight characters, and you can choose to start as any of them. Um, None of their stories really have anything to do with each other, actually. They're all on their own personal quests. Like, there's the one character who I started with who has the most kind of overarching thing, which is like, I'm gonna go to these shrines and light the... It's it's the Dark Souls story. It's like, I'm gonna rekindle the first flame! Sure. (laughs) Like, sure. But this other one's like, I'm gonna get revenge! I'm gonna find this ancient book! I'm gonna a thief the best like I, there's <laughs> everyone has their own individual stories um and like you, you're picking up these characters along the way and it's more like yeah you just go in the same direction as me sure okay we'll party up and i kind of like that it means that you can play at your or to me i can play at my own pace i don't feel like there's any pressure to get on with it i can grind as much as i want and it doesn't feel the like game doesn't it. have to be about the end of the world yeah and more developers need to, need maybe to do take, that. take that idea into consideration yeah. Um, so that, it can only be done so many times. Yeah. So that one uh, I'm happen. really enjoying. Especially, I think I think the other thing that does it for me is that it's on the Switch. It's portable. I can play it whenever I want. I don't have to boot up a console and wait for it to load on the TV or whatever. I'm kind of sad that it's exclusive to the Switch. But um, it's the perfect platform for it. I have a strange suspicion that that's part of the reason it's selling so well. Yeah. It's because... This is the only place you can get it. People aren't thinking, oh, I'll buy it cheaper on the PS4. It's like, no, it's a Switch game, and it's impossible to fucking get now. Yeah. So it's selling get it when you crazy. can. Yeah. yeah. It is. So when I get a Switch, I should get this game. If you like RPGs. I do like yeah. RPGs. I'm waiting for a cheaper version myself. I love... I The thing is, I my favorite game of all time, Breath of Fire 2, uh, 
I, I I don't see any of that in this, but I I love that recipe for a game. My I problem with Octopath is that all of the characters, to me at least, are incredibly fucking boring. Yeah, the, they're the all story human is, dudes. Story's not as strong suit. Yeah. yeah, human yeah. dudes. No, there's dudettes, but they're they're okay. they're bre- yeah. res. Bre- yeah. so, um, I think what? that's the thing that turned me the most. Like I love Breath of Fire too because it's like. Yo, Jean's just a fucking frog. Sten's a monkey. Like, why Why not? Because fucking reasons. Angel woman? Sure. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, the game's um, more just visually, uh, musically, actually, as well, and uh, mechanically plays interesting. plays a huge role yeah. in games like, for me. Like, a lot of... Yeah, it's everything but the story is honestly the strong part of Octopath. Even just, like, the job system. I'm okay with that, because it means I can kind of spam through the thing yeah. as long as there's an objective list, because like, that's what I'll do if I don't care about the characters. Like, I started... My first character was that, like, priest Ophelia lady. She's and, my favorite. And she's just, like, a, you know, dainty healer class very you know stereotypical like rpg character blast you Uh, the light of my god well (laughs) yeah light magic all that sort of stuff and it's like uh at first so so the character you start with you're actually locked in with until you finish their story so like i can swap anyone in and out of my party but i'm stuck with her and i was like well you know that's not the worst i have a healer like that's you're gonna want that anyway uh but it's like really it's, it's too bad she's not like super buff in any way but then i started finding secondary jobs and i gave her the warrior class she's now my most ripped dude in my whole party like i can heal myself and cleave them in half yeah this is amazing. And, and that's almost a bad thing now actually because it's just like hmm i really should heal my guys but this guy's open and i can do all the damage right now <laughs> so it's like i kind of fucked up by Fuck giving her my team i'm killing everybody <laughs> she's else. just soloing it yeah how many uh how many players can you have Four, four in your party, there's eight Still. characters total. That's, I really, someone has to have done it already. I want a JRPG where I can just, like, let me use all the guys. Why do I have to choose? Like, eh. But the I, job system gets around that, so you can fill all the roles that way. I'm but. surprised I haven't at least seen a game where you're continuously getting characters, and it's like, okay, these three group together. So you're not choosing out of thousands of attacks. Yeah. These, like, three or, I don't know, eight people all group together to make this type of attack. Yeah. Because you put them in this group. And that's yeah. still kind of like three characters, but you got your whole team of 16 with you. Yeah, like, the idea is, like, okay, you're that's starting cool, off with, actually. with like, yeah. a party of four. It's like, yeah, you have your archer and your warrior and your mage and your cleric. And it's like, oh, you found another warrior. Okay, those guys go together and they kind of attack together. And, like, before you know it, you're, like, commanding an entire army and the scale of battles has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. I, I would absolutely love that. Yeah. And it would fit that art style as well. Yeah. But what is that fucking sound? Something's buzzing. Okay. Now that I noticed it, it's gone. <laughs> that's a that's a paranoia. <laughs> All right. What what uh what else have you been playing? So the only other thing that I've been playing is World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Obviously, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we're right before BFA, which I am. That's Battle for Azeroth. <laughs> Battle for Azeroth, which I'm very excited about. The War of Thorns just happened, and today this video. Uh, the battle for Lordaeron is coming up soon. So, Wait, Lordran? Lord- like a Dark Souls? Like a city of the undead. Holy shit. So, a little bit. I don't know no Warcraft, but I barely know no you Dark Souls. Just pr- predictimated that fucking storyline there. Holy. So, yeah, it's cool. Uh, before the, the expansion has launched, there's all of these events leading up to the stuff that the expansion is going to be about, which is pretty cool. And that's all I've been playing is World of Warcraft. Wow, 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 yeah. wow, wow. Yeah, hundred years. You even you even stop playing Fortnite even? I log in to buy skins. <laughs> you have a problem. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's like the that's this twenty dollars yeah, uh, Miles will come over, I'll boot it up, log into Fortnite, look at the dailies, log in, get mad, and buy a skin. And that's <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's the Fortnite cycle. See I, what you I, need to do is just play other games and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I I certainly have I have the same issues with Fortnite. They're reoccurring, and it's just the, the kind of nonsensical issues that I get from any online shooter. I bought the, the guided rocket pack, so you're just out, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> until guided rockets are gone, I'm out, because those are absolutely horseshit, and they'll hit me for 300 damage <laughs> every time I do fucking anything at all. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I log into Fortnite and look at the dailies and think that I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, I, I obviously want to hit... Like complete all the challenges if I can. Yeah. That's that's my goal. But I I finally completed uh, two weeks now. I have two weeks. Yeah, because you got the doing. llama in that one game, which well, fucking. And that's part of my problem with Fortnite is some of the challenges are so up to just chance. Yeah. Like they're del- they're just unfortunate. Like a drop in here and kill people. It's like okay, well, no one's been landing here since the week this event started. Yeah. So 
Right now, the week four is, is Dusty Divot. I'm in no hurry to finish that because there will always be people in Dusty but Divot. Since it's right in the middle of the map. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, it should just always be that location. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or always tilted. Everybody yeah. still. Yeah, actually. Or, you know, every time the circle closes, it should be on one of these main locations. Yeah. So you at least have a chance to get to somebody if you live long enough to get that's, there. I wonder, that's, a good, that's a good idea. Actually, is, I, never, I never considered that. The circle doesn't tend to close on like one of just a handful of locations uh, it seems right? like it's on a random number system okay because uh, now the circle closes outside of where it initially started to close as well okay. they move the circle to stop people from building right right which i have tons of suggested fixes for that issue like let the storm disintegrate buildings, buildings we're yeah. talking about and stuff like that but yeah no I, the, whatever they're doing they're they're doing great at it because they're making well and that's the thing like while, while you're not necessarily into it now like they've been so agile with the updates in that game yep. like next week it could be something that you're like oh yep I mean, back, back in for it, solid wins. And that's, and that's the thing. I Any complaint I have with this is a temporary. personal complaint. I, I don't think they should change anything. Because uh, they, whatever they're doing is working. Clearly hard. doing it right for most people. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. What about, uh, what about double pumping? I yeah, got rid of that, right? I believe that should be back. I, oh, really? I like double pumping. They introduced SMGs as a way to combat double pumping. And now SMGs are just broken. Like OP? They're yeah. god tier. Yeah. Yeah. If the, you get a P90, like you win. Yeah. You get a P90. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Guys, is that a P90? You, you, because you had no idea that was even in the game. I opened you, the box and it had a P90. I was like, is that a P90? <laughs> like the giddiness, the yeah. excitement. I, was... I, I can't explain why I like P90s. Like I don't. You I, don't well, Goldeneye actually is probably. I was like, gonna say you don't really uh, need to because it's amazing. It's cool and then in Fortnite, it's it, it honestly it's, it's really a good. laser beam. And so. I, I think they should be keeping all of the guns in line and they're obviously doing balance passes whenever they feel it's necessary and if they don't feel it's necessary to nerf smgs that's fine i just don't need to participate in that do you think uh do you think they should keep um the original set of guns or do you think they should cycle them out for new weapons i don't mind them swapping weapons in and out the, I, the only uh, reason i'm asking is because like i i tend to find we, we talked about this before that i tend to find more tommy guns now than I do standard assault. Yeah, I, like, I, the and availability I like, is disproportionate. I, I prefer the Tommy gun over most things. But yeah, they did in the the latest patch. They did um, change the spawn rates for different weapons. Mm -hmm. um, I firmly believe there should be a mode without any explosives at all. I absolutely hate explosives in the game. I find that takes away. Uh, they're, they're sticky bomb. I, sticky bombs are good. They're a little this more is deliberate. Fun. <laughs> I, and honestly, a sticky bomb should not kill you unless it lands on you. Yeah. Um, yes. If it. Yeah. If it hits you like. 200 health shirt, that's Yeah, fine. maybe it's... If uh, it hits your feet in 50... Maybe like, its explosion radius should be, like, really reduced. Yeah, yeah. I would be okay with that like being a in, a, in a not-explosive explosive mode, basically. Because I, I find... The only time I ever use that is when somebody's standing still and I stick them in the back of the head. It's or like, when I'm, <laughs> nerd! Yeah, or when I'm tearing apart their tower. Yeah. Like, one of, one of those two. And that's... I guess explosions exist for the tower, but honestly, bullets tear through buildings so fast now... Yeah. Uh, it well, is, they like, do for you because they don't for me. Uh, the latest patch makes it so that buildings build; uh, they get health way less uh, until they're they're maxed out. So if you have a Tommy gun and a P90, no one can uh, build your good, bullets. Good. Or so. uh, the, I I feel like they made the the mini gun or the chain gun uh, like effective. It's again. a demon. Like uh, when when it's tearing through. So that's walls. why I saw people actually using it again. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. we were uh, we we were assaulting some dude. And he built up walls quickly, and he was more focused on Joseph. And I was I was sprinting at him like through trees and stuff, and Miles just ripped his building nice. apart. Yeah, so dropped him to the ground. I think he downed you. <laughs> yeah, and then I downed him. Sprinting right the fuck at him. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's my thoughts on the state of Fortnite as it is. Yeah. And I'll I'll keep coming back to it. It's, it's yeah, it's, fun. I'll come back when I have a strong suspicion. Um, when you do jump into PC stuff, um. A, um, we'll be able to fill for Fortnite, which yes. will be nice. Um, but we are going to have more things to play, and I won't be as tired of Fortnite, because it won't yeah. be our only option. Yeah. So. so what do you say we move on to the news, boys? Yes. Uh, discuss uh, current and uh, potentially upcoming well, events. It's not even... It's like shit that I've been putting together over the last like week or so, so it's all old news Still now. Still current. But... Current for me. Uh, first thing I've written down here is... Uh... Not that any of us actually played this game, but uh, Gran Turismo g added, or Gran Turismo Sport, their latest one, added microtransactions, like, out of nowhere. Because that game wasn't... So, in the process of, what, Forza and Middle-Earth removing transactions, yeah. Gran Turismo I, Sport, I guess that's the which thing. is not doing well, there's no way this game's doing well, yeah. is adding microtransactions. And you can buy cars, and, it, like, that's the thing, like, what they did, it didn't seem particularly exploitative or nasty or anything like that, it just seems... 
like, I don't know. Like, I, I guess I'm, I'm not ditch money. Yeah, for, like I'm not the goal for some money. I'm not the audience for it. So like, I'm, seems that way. like I'm not playing Gran Turismo. So like maybe the people playing the game. Lo- I might have been playing Gran Turismo if it wasn't this Gran Turismo. Yeah, I, I, lo- I loved five. Yeah, nothing about this one seemed appealing to me. But but yeah, like maybe the people still playing it love this move. But it just seems like it comes at a time when it's just like everyone's distancing themselves from this kind of stuff, other than Activision, and it's like Cause they don't give up. Bulk. They don't, and that might bite them in the butt. <laughs> but yeah, it'll happen know. eventually. But yeah, it just—I uh, don't know how much more we need to say on it <laughs> on the Grand Turismo thing. It's it just—it just, blows my mind how that game launched in the state that it did, I, and it's one of Sony's big exclusives. Like this isn't a small this Grand freaking Turismo title. Like, like th- that—that that was their flagship for racing games. That could yeah. compete with Forza in the day. Forza. Ford- Forza. <laughs> Forza in the day. Yeah. And um I don't know, Stop. between all of these huge launches like Horizon and Gears or Gears Gears of War More Sport. <laughs> God of War. Um yeah. it, it just got lost, thankfully, for them, because yeah. that would have been a big black mark on their record. Like that's a it's a disgusting launch. Yeah, like I I understand, you know, part of the reason Forza like took over in the success uh, category is like because they divvied it up among two teams, right? They have the motorsport ones coming out every other year and the Horizon ones every other year. But Gran Turismo isn't even coming out every other year. Like this is like six, five, was, six, like or six was actually pretty. Five and six were really were pretty close, close together because yeah. six was honestly like the same thing with more it was cars like yeah, and, just yeah. added to. But uh, yeah, they've just fallen so behind. So like I don't know, like maybe maybe the people still playing those games are like, no, it's fine. We don't want it to be different, and I should shut up. But. Like, I don't know if, if they are, it's because they don't have any better. I guess that's the thing. Like, Xbox is just killing it with the Forza. Like, it's the only thing they're killing it with is Forza. Yes. Uh, you can arguably say, yeah, Sony's killing it in every other front over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's... Uh, Sony does not have a racing game right now. Really? Yeah. They even let go of uh, the, the Drive Club guys uh, and or, or MotorStorm before them. Uh, and that game was finally cleaned up and acceptable. And then they ditched them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, okay. Good job, bye. Which is, that was actually weird for Sony, because Sony's, like, kind of gotten their reputation at this point. Uh, like, there's a lot of their success these days is owed to them giving their studios second, third, fourth chances, and then they finally hit it, right? Like mm-hmm. Maybe like, that's why Kojima's happy that he's with Sony. Because <laughs> he can afford a few fuck-ups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's Gran Turismo. Uh, next thing I've written down here, uh, the No Man's Sky update. <laughs> uh, so that thing came out to much fanfare. It became like the most played game on like PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Everyone seemed to be loving uh, the changes for what they were. It, arguably, that game is what it should be or should have been in the first place. Now, you know whether you a year and a half later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether you, whether you still want to give them a chance at this point is up to you. But uh, and I was a person who. It controls and the feel of that game aside did enjoy it a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was a good just zen thing. Yeah. Um, but with these uh, changes, the game's like just completely fucked. That I, no, Has I guess it. so. Nobody seems to have noticed that it's uh, fucked because everyone I see playing it is thrilled and happy. Uh, performance shit the bed. Uh, yeah. 1080 Ti can't hold 60 mm-hmm. at uh, 1440p. Uh, save issues, uh, weird uh, crashes, stuff like that. Uh, and you know they are the bugs that come with the territory of a randomly generated. But but it is weird, weird like this spot. long into the game that like they they kind of had it figured out and then at what point did they decide you know what let's make the ground prettier and not optimize the game in any fucking way? It yeah. still feels like. Like, if you up your FOV on PC, you're fucked. I can't imagine yeah, consoles, consoles probably, are in a better state. Yeah. I, I know Digital Foundry did a video on it. I, it came through and it looked like performance was, like, hovering. Like, on the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, it was, like, like 40 frames a second. Uh, kind of. So better no. than I thought it yeah. would be. Yeah, I, I think original Xbox cannot hit 30, probably as not. far as I'm aware of. Yeah, so it's unfortunate because the game seems to be, like, mechanically where it ought to be. But yeah. and, and, you know... The, it's finally a game. In their defense, uh, they have moved to a uh, apparently a more regular update model now. It's not going to be like two months, two years, whatever. Hopefully, it's, some they're doing like weekly patches. So, not that that's an excuse. Like, hey, get your shit figured out. But yeah. uh, you know, maybe wait a few weeks and release. Your yeah, patch. there must have been some quarterly earnings cycle that they had to hit for Sony to approve of them putting the patch out in time. Mm-hmm. Um, just like the game. Uh, next up, uh, did you hear about that game Abstraction? Uh no, on Steam. there's not a uh, studio. There's probably a studio called Abstraction, but there's a game on the uh, Steam uh, on Abstraction. Uh, wow, on Steam called Abstraction. Uh, this was the Counter Strike. Uh, the T- Team Fortress thing. Team Fortress. Thing. Uh, yeah. So uh, people were reporting that uh, like they were in the Steam item trading markets, they were buying like high end Team Fortress Two items, like expensive Team Fortress Two items for. 
to turn out to be these were not actually Team Fortress 2 items. These were, like, named just slightly differently, and they had, like, uh, an image that was very reminiscent of it. It was a fake item, effectively, and they were linked to this game, this fake abstraction. Fake digital game. goods. Fake digital goods. So these were all coming out of this game. Uh, I'm sure this won't be the first case of this. Um, Damn. Yeah, there's going to be a massive, like, ban from... Valve at this point. There's got to be other games doing mm-hmm. this. There's no way. Um, but yeah, not only was it uh, was it providing fake items, it was doing a system where the game it was like a non. It was like a flash game or something. It was like a very very basic non game. game. Um, but it had all these systems in place where it's like, oh, you need Squad. to be you, <laughs> <laughs> you need to be uh, playing it for certain amounts of time at certain times of the day and certain days of the week to get because we're gonna have new items every. Every week uh, for players. people were leaving it running or... And so this was all done to have people leave it running. And the speculation that seems more or less confirmed is that they were running a freaking crypto miner through the game off of people's mm. hardware uh, with the promise of, of digital goods so that they can then scam people. Like, it was like scams within scams. Um, they have The game's now been re- removed from Steam. Fucking uh, genius. But, uh, uh, and actually... Yeah, really, uh, you gotta give them kudos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the game's now been removed from Steam. Uh, shout out to Sid Alpha. Uh, he's a YouTube guy who does some good work. He was the first one I saw like actually calling this out. Uh, Seems to be the only person calling this kind of stuff out. Once yeah. he calls it out, the rest well, I feel of the like world. <laughs> your Jim Sterlings of the world would have called it out as well. I yeah. just don't know if he got wind of it. But um, uh, he seems how long, preoccupied with how long was that game on Steam for? I, that I don't know. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting to see is how... Enough to get into the ecosystem. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, their whole, what is it, Steam Direct they call it now? Where you can yeah. just pay 100 bucks and your game's just up there? Like... That's why there's so much trash on Steam like, nowadays. Asset flips are going to be a day of the past. Like I, it's going to be these things, right? Yeah. Crypto miners and... Yeah. and, and uh, well, the fact that this thing hit the news, other people, I imagine, are like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm going to do it and smarter. I, and, you know... Yeah, really, eh? A big name game will come out, and that's what yeah, it is. Like, yeah. And, you know, don't ascribe malice to... Maybe that's to, why Assassin's Creed's performance is so <laughs> shit, because it's crypto money. <laughs> uh, don't ascribe malice to, like, what could be uh, explained as incompetence, but I wonder about Valve and Steam on this. Like, did they only act because... Because they were caught? Like, who's... Well, because attention was drawn to it? Because, like, they get a cut of all of this, or of every Steam item sold. Like, oh, yeah. Why would they care unless people... Yeah, you sell a $300 knife, they're making 30%. Yeah, so that's so, you know it's a uh, business. Yeah, and it, it's it's so uh, automated that I wonder how much Valve doesn't actually know versus how much they just don't give a shit until lights shed on it. Yeah, uh, and but you know, again, I don't want to accuse them of, of anything there. I like but, Valve. I buy all of my games on Steam. But I, yeah, I, like I, them, I but they also <laughs> suck. I, I can't I can't see them having any reason to give a shit about this other than public perception, which yeah. I don't even know why they give a shit about that at this point, other than maybe because competition's starting to get actually more real elsewhere. Juji's taken off, uh Green Man Gaming, which I guess is just Steam Keys, but there's there's a handful of other websites yeah. out there that are going, going I can, good. I could see Epic making their launcher open to other people and make it like the curated Eden that Epic, Steam used to be. Uh, Battle.net. Yeah. I think Battle.net's just going to keep being Activision well, stuff. Origin's not bad. I, I don't like Origin because... Because EA, but... Um, but they, for the longest time, had the best launcher I can think of for any games. Like, its download speed was completely untapped. And were they it's, first to implement a refund system? Yes. I think it was them, yeah, right? Yeah, probably. Which that sounds right. Kind of wild. Like yeah, EA, of all companies. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and Valve didn't incorporate their... <laughs> what was it? They Valve added the refund system and a day after Arkham Knight came out. Yeah. And that was... Because I guarantee <laughs> Arkham Knight, if refunds hadn't been there, they wouldn't have changed a fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Because WB is one of the worst companies in the world. Th- their PC ports especially Disgusting. are... Disgusting. With the exception of Mad Max... Mad Max was amazing. Shadow of War was pretty good, too. Okay, yeah. Um, the Shadow of War played... I, I don't know why you would, but it played pretty decent with a mouse and keyboard, too. Like, the, their team cares. It's just... <laughs> That's hard to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, next story. Uh, actually, I guess, speaking of uh, the uh, Drive Club uh, Motorstorm guys, uh, what they went on to do uh, was with Codemasters, they did Onrush. Uh, Great-sounding game. Yeah, uh, that game, a bunch of people got fired. Um, <laughs> like half how much of the studio uh, a bunch of them including their director uh, Paul oh, Rushinsky aka Rushy Fucking is his name holy shit um, best of luck guys Jesus like the, Christ so, so I played a, deserve that I played a bunch of Onrush and that it was, was a ton of fun from what you were telling me that game sounded like it's, like it's team combat racing it wasn't even about, it wasn't even about racing it was just vehicular Overwatch there's, there's no way in hell 
that, that was shit worth, can sell. Yeah. So uh, we're for eighty dollars. We're in Canada. Yes, yeah, so that was eighty flipping dollars. Even at forty dollars, which is what it's around these days, forty fifty. Um, th- that's still like an awful lack of content in that game. Like they were, they were trying, they were overselling that thing. Yeah. Um, it was just doomed, I guess, because of that. Steam price aside, point. that thing might have had a chance on PC. Yeah, that's. I guess that's. Uh, so there was talk of them maybe doing a PC version. No but way in hell. Like it's very vague now. kind of stuff. Yeah. And at this point, who knows? Um, Codemasters has said that like the layoffs, like there's still people there, uh, and this hasn't affected their content plans for the game, which. Makes you wonder what their content plans even were. Yeah, yeah. Um, or if it's already all done. Or it's already all done. It's too bad, because, yeah, that game had some really good ideas, but, like, there's just a, such a dearth of content. Like. To, to lay off that many people because one game didn't sell to no fault of theirs, that's what marketing... Yeah, I have also... to imagine the the price point of the game had less to do with... I think they were they were going by Evo Studios at this point to... Uh, um, I think it had more to do with Codemasters probably dictating that, I, I, if I were to guess. But what else does Codemasters publish? They, they do Dirt and F1. and Those all come like out at full price. Yeah. yeah. How are those? Uh, those must be selling to someone. I think they just sell enough, I guess. Yeah. Huh. The Dirt games are still well regarded. But but yeah, it's too bad about Onrush. I, I, I liked what I played of it, but yeah. uh, I... Uh, I feel bad for all of those people that got laid off yeah, to so no fault of their own. Hopefully they uh, they stick the landing elsewhere and yeah. get another chance. I know They're this, talented. Holy shit. Yeah, I know this is what, like fourth chance for them now? Fucking but... Blizzard should scoop those dudes up and have make them a, make a race. Rock and roll thing. racing. Bring like... it back, boys. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? They should just do like a Heroes of the Storm, get the, the Mario Party crew yeah. Yeah. Of, of Blizzard and make a racing game. I, I want like everybody in carts and just D.Va riding D.I. Diablo was down on us like because that's my fetish. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't don't look at the folder. Oh uh, <laughs> some, somewhat related, actually, in the realm of that. Uh, next thing I have up is Playground Games, the guys behind uh, the Forza Horizon series. Forza. Um, they're continuing to staff up uh, for their secret RPG project, not yeah. so secret. Um, and uh, apparently, recently, they've been uh, like word got out that uh, some of the people they've been bringing in are Fable. like fr- people from like Bioware, people from EA Motive, uh, people from Rocksteady. Hopefully, the good ones. Uh, yeah, um, and you know, uh, science no, Rocksteady. Ones. Yeah, Rocksteady. Right, like. What are they even doing at this point? Yeah. They, they, they're making a Superman game. That's what the word is, but <laughs> how do you a Superman game? How do you even do that? I don't know. But we'll see. Same I don't know, they'll make a one punch man game and I'll be that'd, thrilled with that. Super Superman will be the same fucking awesome. thing. <laughs> um but yeah, uh, I still suspect this is a fable game they're they're working up towards. Um It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be, right? What else does Microsoft have? It's exclusive, right? Yeah. 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 Uh and honestly, like you know And who else would you trust with Fable? Other than the only other studio that's doing good things for it. I guess that's so the no thing. fault of those other studios. Uh, I don't want the fuck Microsoft. That's the thing. I've seen a lot of people comment like, really? The racing guys, huh? It's like, no, but the best racing guys. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. They're like, making... This isn't just... Like, this isn't your Gran Turismo team. <laughs> this <laughs> this is your Forza team. And your Forza Horizon team. Like, yeah. these guys are applying a level of quality to their, their game product, genre aside, that very few other companies are even matching. So, uh, and this is a, they're building a separate team within the team kind of thing. So, uh, it's obviously not going to be pulling all the same people over. An elite but, group. And you know this is this is easy for me to say because I've never <laughs> particularly been a huge Fable fan. I've been, I enjoyed, I liked Fable I too. Have a great we'll, Fable we'll, story. We'll tell you our <laughs> Fable story uh, after. <laughs> I really started to enjoy Fable two, and I was like, this is ramping up. This is getting good. And then credits happened, and I was like, where's the other three quarters of this game? I've played yeah. the intro. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, if I have uh, confidence in somebody uh, like having a new idea of what to do with uh, they care Fable. about performance, they care about. Yeah, visuals, exactly. And that's a good start. And then they also care about a game that they're making. Yeah, so I, I have confidence that they could pull it off. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, I want them to... Nothing is sacred. I, I think the only thing that should re- like definitely be a part of it... like that the humor. Ha- well, okay, maybe that too. But the thing I was going to say is some type of decision-making morality system. Yes. Because like, yes. that's kind of key to, to Fable's identity. I, I'd almost want it to like still be just black and white. Like, yeah. Like your decision-making is like... I'm evil or I'm an angel. And I guess that's the thing because a lot of games are getting away from that now. So Yeah, Mass Effect uh, removed its Paragon Renegade system which I feel was implemented wrong. I didn't like the way they did it but I loved the system itself because unless you went balls to the wall with one side or the other you couldn't get the ending. (laughs) You you know me and my wall balls. Wall balls. Uh, So is your fable story the the shooting? Yeah. 
Yeah. Pretty, okay, so yeah. yeah let, let us so, have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Miles, uh, I, God, I bought a fucking Xbox 360, bought Gears of War, uh, Two Human, fucking and uh, Fable 2. Dennis <laughs> Dyack's fucking... <laughs> they, they gave me Two Human for free, and the guy apologized. <laughs> it, was, it was at a Best Buy. Well, but, hey, that is a legendary uh, kickstart to the uh, upcoming trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, something. They recalled all those. Fucking... <laughs> Probably for the better. Well, that oh, was that was illegal. That was after the, right? the epic lawsuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You fucked up. <laughs> but that that's a that's a story. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Fable. Um, we decided to play some. Was it split screen or did it just like uh, divide us yeah. the fuck up? I don't remember. No, it's split but screen. Al- that game so, had split screen. So let yeah. us play together. Like you could just drop in and out. Yeah. So I was playing as my character, and Miles was like, "So who am I?" And I'm like, "You're that guy." And I was like, "I didn't pick him." <laughs> <laughs> so Miles, I think you killed yourself, and you came in as a different character. It was like perfect. So immediately, uh, as I'm like trying to buy stuff from the shop or whatever it was, uh, Miles like, "So how do I kill people?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's just one of the buttons." And he's like, "Okay, I did it." <laughs> and I look over, and he's already blown away like three guards. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and then so for the rest of our gameplay, uh, I was using like magic and guns and spells, and Miles was just unloading gun, on gun, all of the gun. village people <laughs> like the entire time. But yeah, no, I it, it just, the that game was so fucking goofy, and I, I was fine yeah. for that. Like they took my money because Miles executed those gentlemen <laughs> in the middle of the with, street with the gun button. Oh, no, with the so, gun button. Okay, no. So. And that was the great thing about that game was it was button for magic, button for sword, button do, for gun. Do, do you remember that? Like the ads that Peter Mullen. Ooh. No, he, he was so proud of that. It's like we have a revolutionary new system for our controls. We put, I love your Peter Mullen. We put dude. we put different commands on different buttons. So this button what? is your sword, and this button is your gun. And this button is your magic. Oh no. Never been done before. <laughs> like, he was so proud. It's like, we have a control system. I don't think he's played another game. It's not on rails. It's not on rails. You're uh, going to love your dog, by the way. <laughs> okay. Don't just assume that. Peter. Uh, I would like to add to the Fable story. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so I I had rarely... I barely played any Xbox 360, so I never really held the controller in my hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we were um, a PS3. I, I've through always through. been a Sony dude. Uh, cool. So, um, I didn't know what button was what. I, I'm so used to... Because it was, you were, like, if anything, when you when it was numbers, it was Nintendo, and they're always fucking reversed. Yeah. Um, so then he was like, <laughs> uh, he was like, whatever you do, Miles, when you're in town, don't press this button. Yeah, I think it was and whatever the I shoot button was. I think he said was, X, so X is actually square, not at the bottom, right? Yes, the yes. B. So <laughs> I was like, okay, X. And, 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 uh, and I just, I, I pressed the button, and dude's like, because he's a musket, right? He's like, bang! Boosh! Blew the dude, the dude away. I told you, which, specifically. I know, which would have been laughing. fine like, had he couldn't... not started to execute the rest of the guards that showed up. It would have been, like, oh. as whatever amount of gold fine. I think I ruined... <laughs> you I ruined turned it into play. a genocide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ruined his playthrough. He's just too nice to say it. <laughs> it was so good. And that was... I guess that game didn't really have safes coming, did it? How did the save system work? Was that just like always saving? I don't even remember. Yeah, because like, so. you know, I know every Elder Scrolls game I play. I will scum the. Fuck yeah, it's out like of no, I will like someone yeah. badmouths me in town, so I save the game and then kill everybody. Yeah, like it's. <laughs> I'm gonna load it up and let them continue bitching Man, the cloud could, district. If I could save my game in real life. Oh <laughs> fuck! I'd have killed myself so many times. Oh, wait, you can't reload when you kill yourself. Well, yeah, you you can. That's how yeah, Skyrim works. When you die, it gives do, you. Like do you a, think that I would be allowed to respawn after killing? If myself? you had a like a, an Elder Scrolls save your yes. game system, that's how it would work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like, yeah, if I got that power, I would immediately make a save. So that's where I could like reload to. Like toaster, bathtub, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> toaster, <right. laughs> toaster, bathtub, see what happens. Been there. I know. <laughs> Wait, does this hypothetical bathtub have water this in it or not? This is hypothetical. No, <laughs> this is me in the bathtub with a toaster. <laughs> I want to make a waterproof toaster that looks like a regular toaster <laughs> and, have, and have some really disturbing ads. I need to say, <laughs> I want to see the disappointment on someone's face when it's they... Like, we should oh. suicide. But... I'm, I mean, I really want to see. I think I think we're it's okay for us to do it because we're actually depressed. So, <laughs> oh, no. hey, Miles, get out of here! You're not depressed. 
<laughs> anyway, moving on. The Android version of Fortnite won't be using the Google Play Store apparently. So I have, yes, I have. Uh, yeah, that was my same reaction. Um, <laughs> Good. I am uh, not a fan of the Google Play Store. Yeah. Um, I the thing I like about this the, is that Google isn't making any money. So that seems to be the consensus is that like the only reason Epic did this was Epic to... said they have some other reasons. Sure, I don't fucking care. Google's not making money. Fuck yeah, Google. cut them out of that thirty percent that yeah. they would get on the Play Store. Google, and can you and it's funny because, like, yeah, they, they, Wait, we have other reasons. Admit, Fortnite, to, admit to that. That's good. Is Fortnite finally on Android? Not it's coming it's it, it, very soon. Uh, you're just gonna download the APK file directly through the internet, the same way we do it with that game. You mm-hmm. can't download with yeah, Google Play it, Store. It, it, there is uh, <laughs> there is some speculation that uh, which I would have kept playing, but it could not update. <laughs> that this is going to pave the way to them having their own just storefront on Google uh, or on Android, uh, so that they can just sell other stuff through it. This would be further down the line when they do actually maybe have other people's games on their service. So, well. but to clarify, yeah. my account's still gonna be. The same, I think. Stuck on. Oh, because, Sony, yeah, you're right? still gonna be locked to. Did to you? Sony. Did you play? Sony. You did play Fortnite. I played Fortnite it. originally on the yep. PlayStation. That's too bad. Um, I think Android and mobile stuff would be free from that. It's it's only uh, Nintendo and Xbox that they lock you out of. I, I think I, I think I could log in on my phone. We should try that later tonight. Yeah, and see about that. Check. <gasps> Are we playing Fortnite tonight? No. <laughs> Chris should try and log in on his phone later tonight. <laughs> oh, I have to download Fortnite. <laughs> Shit. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I that's all of PUBG on my phone. Shh. I think that's all we really have to say about that story. Yeah. Uh, and last but not least, my I think favorite. I saved the best for last, the Spyro Trilogy coming out. Uh, the physical edition of that game is only going to have Spyro 1 on the disc. <laughs> What? You have to download the other two. So I was already of an opinion on this game. Because <laughs> uh, that's going to be... It's, a, it's going to be 30 FPS, and that's inexcusable for a remaster. Yep. B, um, I hate people that make their decisions based on nostalgia. Yeah. The NES offends me. <laughs> of fucking Christ. The, the biggest problem, though, is that... Uh, has there been outrage for this? Uh, I've, been seen a, I've seen a decent amount of it. I, it's it's been split. Like almost every. I don't, I don't necessarily want death threats, no. but I would very much <laughs> like if somebody was like, "Hey, Activision, like stop being cunts. the fucks up with that." Yeah, uh, I, I did a little bit of looking around on Twitter, um, and uh, any comments or any posts I saw about Spyro or retweets of it, um, I saw a lot of people going, "Yo, this sucks," and almost as much. You suck for thinking it sucks. See, that's so. I especially so we live in Canada, obviously, where the internet can eat its own asshole. I mean, it's not much better in the U.S., man. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I I can't. In fact, we might have any opinions. We're we're screwed more, I think, on the cost of it. They're screwed more on like the data caps and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Data caps. Fuck that. If you have a data cap, like your ISP is yeah. shit. There's no way around it. They're yeah. just they're fucking well, and, you for money. And that's not even that's even besides the point of just like, like really this game. Like, is it because the game's not done? Why don't you just delay it? Oh, it's probably not because of that. It's because you just want. Yeah, do you more think con- thirty days are going to make a difference? That's, that yeah, goes gold. Printed the disc. Yeah, and... like what? What is this? Uh, and and watch it be a freaking voucher code inside the box, like a one time use. It's not even like a free update for the game. Yeah. Um, like if it's a voucher code, you know it's not because of anything other than control. Um, they want you to not be able to resell share your friends, game, share it with resell, others. Yeah. Um, and. It, just what this does for like the longevity of games, like the more we digitize this stuff and service based games that require updates and online and all this stuff, it's like this game's not going to exist in ten years. This I version have, of it, like, I have a understanding that everything I own on Steam can disappear in an instant. Yeah, because I don't own any of it. Yeah, I, I own the license to play some of these things. Yeah, that's how it works. Like the more um, this stuff goes digital, the the more yeah, the less ownership you have. And and beyond that, too, it's like if I wanted to buy a digital game, if I was fine with it, I'd buy a digital game. Don't I wouldn't be looking for the hard copy. Exactly. Like that's like that's the thing. Like regardless of whether you what side you fall on, whether you're digital or physical, pro or con, um, you have to admit that like it's stupid to like it it would be dumb. Say you want to buy a game on Steam, a digital game on Steam, and you literally cannot do any other payment method than you have to buy a prepaid card in a store or something like that. Like, you cannot use a credit card yes. or whatever. Like, there is no remote way to do it. You have to... Or you have to go into a store and buy, like, a USB key that unlocks it or something. If there was some physical element to digital games that was a requirement, no one would like that either. No. So so why would the reverse be true where it's just like, oh, I want to buy this disc game. Oh, it needs the internet in order to function yeah. at all. I understand for multiplayer games. Um, but I, I'm over the issue of, like... 
online only things uh, when it comes to like a handful of games. It, it makes yeah, that sense. usually just means it's a game I don't want. <laughs> yeah, and, and things like like Destiny, I understand the online only things like Division. Their idea made sense, and that was still hacked. The Division trash. never made sense for online only because it's like the only times you interact with other players is when you initiate it. You either go to the dark zone, the yeah. specific PvP area, or you load into a co-op session at the start of a mission start point. No, when you're in your base, you see people, Chris. Oh, we need understand. to online only for that. Yeah, it's about control. So stop hackers, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that game was hacked. Whatever, I know I'm a dying breed. I like my single player offline games and everyone else. I like single player games when they make it worth my time. Yeah. And don't try to force me to like their shit. I, I don't know what that means. I just the amount of games lately that are we put this system in that nobody likes because we had it in the last one. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, Assassin's Creed. I love your climbing. <laughs> <laughs> better and better every year. Uh, but yeah, that's all I had for news. Uh, I think that's what we got for the show. Well, if you we want can, to call this a show? I mean, we could talk about um, government conspiracies. I'll cut upcoming games that we're looking forward to yeah well. uh sure. i'm uh, i got pre-ordered on my switch dead cells is finally coming out so uh, I'm that game forward. is fucking choice i'm really looking forward to that uh, i like the sound of because i like that style of kind of castlevania type thing castlevania and fuck. and i like roguelike light elements uh, you're I, still getting stuff that's the thing you're uh, still progressing i think the thing that other than just there's the, little balls on the roof that have <laughs> things in them it's um, other than uh, other than the way like that i just didn't like the way the gameplay felt in the binding of isaacs i don't like the um the system of oh what you unlocked is oh now this item will appear in the pool during your next run so so maybe you'll get it like i want rogue legacy permanent enhancements that are going to make my next run Easier for me, I think so I'm gonna get Gungeon further. Just added stuff. Uh, and Gungeon me. into the Gungeon is very much one of those you don't really have necessarily permanent upgrades. But, but it didn't punish you for you didn't walk into a room and it's like, oh, I'm just getting I, shit on. Well, and I'll say in favor of Gungeon, um, it at least feels good to play. Yes, I don't like the way of Isaac feels. Um, maybe, no. maybe I just never played enough of it to get to where it gets good. But I, I played I, enough of it to know I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> uh, so that and Yakuza Two, oh, you Kiwami Two, which you'll get to after. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying Yakuza to power through Zero. Kiwami. Like now that Kiwami Two is within eyesight, ear shot, eye shot. What? It's nose almost at, breathe. It's, <laughs> it's within <laughs> nose breathe. Um, since it's almost here, I feel like now is a good time for me to actually like go hard Complete on finishing them. zero, finish and Kiwami. you got to get that shit out of the way for Fist of the Fucking North. And that's Star. the thing I'm most excited for after that is Fist of the North. Star. That's a pretty good progression. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good list of games. What about you, Miles? Uh, Obviously, no uh, interest in NHL. Obviously, <laughs> off the table. I I cannot stand hockey. It sucks. I'm it's done so with it. stupid. It's over. This so, hat does I think not represent. NL season. NHL season is over. Probably your most anticipated game of this. Uh, I, I would say so. But then also, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Is, oh yes. Yeah. Assuming it's, that game doesn't run like complete ass cheeks. Yeah. Well, actually, it can run like good ass cheeks, but not bad. <laughs> hey. Ass cheeks. Uh, uh, what else was there? Um, as as a not like consistent um, WoW fan I've actually got more and more into Be WoW so of. I'm kind of excited to play you got a good spec a good character going um, Battle for Azeroth and grinding uh, out the Void Elves I'm, I'm, I'm gonna PC y'all are gonna have to show man. me I'm gonna the do ways, it if you want to jump into WoW I would be happy to I feel like it's gonna try. be a, it would be a mistake for me to do it but it's a mistake I'm willing to make yeah I it's, can't see you liking it but Miles also hated it to start as well I, I found it very very tedious. The, the one to forty and... sucked. As soon as you got a character like past that shit, it's like no, nah, I get it. Cool. Yeah. No, no, it's it's cool. Uh, you know, each class has its complexities and stuff, and like it, it's there's a lot to go into it if you're willing to make the time to actually try. There's still stuff that I um, can't even begin to understand. And I guess at this point, if I'm if I'm gonna take up a devotion game, I'm thinking Warframe is the one yes. that I'm gonna want to try. Yeah, uh, and I will play yes. Warframe with you for sure. That um, that is stuff we will stream. Uh, was there any Tomb Raider hockey? Uh, honestly, honestly, there wasn't. There wasn't a lot I was excited for. I was initially excited for uh, Black Ops Four, uh, only because I was. It's been a while since I bought a Call of Duty game. Hearing from people, the gameplay is fine, but. I don't know the PC. How? What are the reports out. from the beta? Because it's out now for PlayStation. Uh, it seems like there's. I've, I've, I've heard played a bit of it. Uh, performance is shit, um, but so was World War Two. Is um, it? It feels like a better version of Black Ops Three. Really? Yeah. It just seems like interest is at an all-time low with Call of Duty. Nobody right cares. Now. Well, right, right about the time where 
what the the past both Battlefield and Call of Duty have had some yeah, portion. Honestly, like I've they they I found they fucked it with the past. People I'm not like, paying 160. Well, yeah, that that whole thing is like no, I'm good. That whole thing's stupid. But yeah, like uh, very f- comparatively few people talking about Call of Duty. Even less people talking about Battlefield. Yeah. Battlefield's like I think the Battlefield fans know they're going to get Battlefield. Yeah, so um, they just don't need to talk. I'm about just not things. a part of that circle anymore. I I cannot. Well, we, we, Support that we really liked nonsense. 4. 4 was a ton of fun. 4 was great. Um, 1 was a piece of shit. Hardline happened. 1... Hardline was a blast on that one fucking map in the yeah. city. Where yeah. you could jump on motorcycles and drive up the escalator and drive the motorcycle off the fucking roof yeah, of the building. Discs. Fire rockets. Yes. Yeah. Cartoons yeah. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, it, you know, Battlefield 1 was... It, I liked it, but it was slow. It was it was slow, it was sluggish. It was over animated. There was way too many. Like I didn't need an animation for vaulting over something. Just fucking do it. Yeah. And I hated the way the guns felt in the game because yeah. uh, every everybody's gun was stronger than mine. For one, that's my continued. Isn't that just the issue. rule of life, though? Online shooters. Uh... I don't know. I remember back in the day in Modern Warfare. Two I used to I'm be powerful. Fucking three tapping people with the scar, and it's like, no, this gun's just a god. Yeah, Nobody and, can stop me. And then you used the tar and it did the same thing. And then da, da, da. the foul and it did the same thing. And then the M16 <laughs> and it did the same thing because everything was good in that game. Man, yeah. Modern Warfare 2 was the business. It, it's, it's the so stuff I've seen for Battlefield 4 seems like my kind of shit. Battlefield 5? Black Ops. 5, thank you. V. Uh, Black it's Ops not the 4. actual fifth one. It's, 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 it's V, Venom. Punish yeah, Venom. you're Venom Snake. Yeah. Thank you, Metal Gear. Thank you, Metal Gear. Um... Yeah, Battlefield looks okay, but it, I again, I, this is the first year Battlefield and Call of Duty are not even on yeah. my list. Actually, but. I guess I forgot one thing on my list. Spider-Man, I'm also really excited. Spider-Boy, 30 FPS motion blur. Yeah. The like, game. I, I'm, I'm so pissed. Yeah, I don't have much game. to say about it because neither you guys y'all are going to be into it, I don't think. But, I did uh, hear there's sections where you get to play as uh, Miles Morales, Mary guy. Johannes. Oh, really? Doing some puzzle stuff. Um, uh, Matt was telling me about it. I'm I'm excited uh, to get it because Trenton will want to play it. And so. Spider-Man's like your favorite hero, right? Dude, He's I, mine. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily say he's my favorite hero because Punisher. he's the Punisher hero yeah, or yeah, is he, he is. vigilante. Which one is he? He's let's, both. Come on, let's get to it. Which one is he? Um, out of the the pure superheroes, Spider Man's your uh, tippy top. Sp- I feel like Spider-Man that's generally like the consensus. By, Spider-Man and honestly, Batman for most people. Thankfully, um, I I Thor. really like the MCU movies yeah, and stuff, yeah, and yeah. people really bash on Thor for some reason. I don't understand. I've, I've come around. I've come around. On he's Thor. too hot. Um, and he's no man just, should be that attractive, dude. It's like a pirate. <laughs> anyway, so if they made like a Thor specific movie where it was kind of modeled after Chris Hemsworth's Thor, did I? I would totally. Did play you ever that. play the Thor game, Miles? That the, came out for the PlayStation Three. You know what? I apparently didn't. the 3DS version of that was actually okay. Hey, there's uh, something. Because that was Thor: Dark World, right? It was. I think it that was, era. It was, yeah. it was that movie was the second movie, and that movie was gone. I watched that movie again like two it. months ago, and I still couldn't tell you what happened in it. There was a world that was there's dark. there's a lot of there's a lot of <sighs> anyways um but yeah so Spider Man I'm excited for Trent and Trent and I'll play the shit out of it um it seems like it follows after the other dimension game which actually wasn't that bad for PlayStation Three uh, or Shattered Dimensions I, I like how this one seems to have it's it's like you're playing a Peter Parker a Spider Man that's not new to it like he's been at it for like eight years or something like that I don't need another fucking origin story. yeah it's not an origin story yeah. Um, and, and that's the thing too it's like you're not gonna have to introduce all these villains and and that's what honestly like that's what puts Spider-Man get going on the villains because there's so many good ones that's what puts Spider-Man over Batman for me like those are both up there but the Spider-Man villains you know between Venom and Dr. Octopus and Mysterio really like and Shocker the, and Rhino and oh I don't like any of the Batman villains except for Scarecrow I, I hate the Joker well, Ar- I despise Ar- the Riddler Arkham Knight's rendition of Scarecrow is terrifying he's yeah. the best they've ever, I've like, ever seriously, seen like seriously he's scary like, I don't like Pengu the, the opening uh, the opening boy, like, Brucey boy the opening as cinematic where yeah. like you you play as the, the cop right and the, the diner just goes to shit yeah that was spooky uh, like, like that was spooky that game earned it's M rating like yeah, it was the first <laughs> M rated. You haven't beat it, have you? No, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm only. I won't, like I won't an spoil hour the new game it. plus thing. Then it's. I haven't played it. And I've been busy. Oh <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that after. I was just done. I I've never been scared of a game more than that. Actually, like in that moment, it was. I remember you were saying it was to the point where you're you, you're like I don't want to do that action anymore because I don't know when it's gonna happen. Oh no, I'm not even talking about that. Oh, I never talking? even told you about the new game plus thing. Are, are you guys talking about the slingshotting up to rooftops and man? That's what he thought I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, the oh, man bat thing. That was yeah. fucking spooky the first time that happened. I don't need a jump scare in Batman. Yeah. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about something else. Okay, you tell me later, and then 
Well, you can tell Miles me too. I don't care. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll let other people come to their conclusions. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you don't have to do it in the podcast. Part yeah, Batman right comes out just fucking. Bat- buck, the Batman buck. coming out party. <laughs> he's just buck naked and he's got like a Batman thing taped to his chest and he's like, <laughs> "Welcome to Batman." Okay, okay, wait, is he wearing his mask or is he just Bruce Wayne? Okay, I didn't. I wasn't looking at his face, Miles. <laughs> So how about you, uh, Wow, is that, uh, top of your list? Uh, fuck. The new, uh... Yeah, BFA. The new Warframe DLC that's coming eh. out. I don't like their open world stuff. So it's what, like, Wow, uh, Fist of the North Star? Wow, Fist of the North Star, SNK Heroines. Oh, yeah. Um. You like your booty games. Yeah. Like fighting, fighting ladies. Uh, I, I think that's it. Uh, Fist of North Star is going to be amazing because it's Pokemon. A, it's Fist of North Star. I do want Pokemon. I'm expecting nothing, and I'll probably get nothing. But that's what I want. And you'll still be upset. <laughs> I'm probably going to buy Smash eventually, but I don't think that's going to be right away. Yeah, there's, there's a lot at the end of this year that I don't give a shit about now. I when it's for thirty bucks, I'll give a shit. Yeah, about it. like Just Cause I, Four. I loved three. I didn't for thirty bucks. I didn't mention Smash as one of my games. It's it's not that I'm not like. I think we're all at the point where it, if we feel like getting it, we'll get it. But at, at this point, yeah, it's not on my I'm, list. I'm going to get it to play with Trenton. Like, yes, and, and, that, yeah. and that's yeah, why it's, it's not excitement; it's obligation. Yeah, like like he's really excited for it. As long as I don't have to put any more fucking money to get characters, just give me all the fucking characters right off the bat. Yeah. No more of this shit. Well, I'm sure. Or give me a pass. I'm getting. I mean, Z- give me a honestly, pass for a season. Honestly, thing. I wouldn't be opposed to them selling more characters for this. Like I, I've long thought that both Smash Brothers and Mario Kart should have been treated as platforms that they just pump out. I will. For fucking argue to my death that those characters were fucking overpriced. Those are, oh, they were. They're not fighting game characters. Oh, yeah. Smash Bros. is not a fighting game in the sense that Street Fighter and Killer Instinct is, where your character is incredibly diverse and different. All these characters had the same moves as other characters. Yeah, yeah, they, they were definitely overpriced, for sure. But, yeah, no, if they had a season pass for, I don't know, whatever, Canadian $30 where it added a handful of new characters yeah. every year, I'd yeah. keep paying that. Yeah, I think both of those games, like, they... Nintendo's reluctance to jump in on the good stuff the rest of the community the, is doing The for things online, they're willing to monetize It's so not, silly. Yeah. Like, the fact that Splatoon 2 is still a fucking shit show blows my mind. Well, shit show by our standards. I guess the world loves it, yeah. but I And we should clarify that. that. What we mean by shit show is that, like, you can't... Like reliably party up with friends and play together on the same team or any of that sort of stuff. Like, there's nothing for that. It's like play with your friends. It's like okay, well they're gonna try and join your match. Uh oh oh, there's a slot open. Okay, quickly get in. Okay, oh they actually got into the match. Oh, then you're facing each other. Like what? Also, why is Salmon Run not always there? Yeah, you can play it when we decide you can. Like, like I'm not I'm not paying for the privilege to play things when Nintendo feels I'm able to. Yeah, uh, and at the way that they dictate that I should be playing it. Uh, is there, uh, is there any news, uh, pertaining to the not Pokemon Let's Go? The, the one Pokemon after? Oh, the they're just saying it's going to be a full RPG. Uh, uh, probably that, another generation so. of Pokemon. Yeah, new Evolution, which I don't give a fuck about. So it's, it's not going to just be like, let's cram all the areas into no. one game and let you explore. Like, I mean, it could be, but we don't know. Game Freak knows how to make money. And By putting in the minimal amount of effort. Yes, yeah. It's the same thing as... The, what I would have said, the Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter team, yeah. until World came out, yeah. where they proved that they can make games. And I, I hope that this Pokemon is the proof that Game Freak can make a game that isn't the bare minimum oh, speaking to of sell a game. Monster Hunter, and by extension Capcom, Resident Evil 2. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's coming in February. January. 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 Yeah. Is it before Kingdom Hearts? The game I'm most around the same time. Oh yeah, don't even get me started on Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is my favorite. It's got Disney Frozen Elsa in it. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness! Uh, and, that is an up PSP game. No, the animation looks exactly like Frozen. It's the same. Dude, you have to let but it But I mean, like, <laughs> that movie's pretty tight, though. That, I, I loved Frozen. Uh, Disney Frozen Elsa registered trademark? I, I I did like Frozen. I, Disney I Frozen it. Elsa registered trademark. I, That's what you like. I enjoyed Disney Frozen Elsa registered trademark. <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts is uh, has a special place on my shit list. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to play those one day. <laughs> You're gonna have to play those one. Sure, yeah. but you'll have to witness it. I'll keep one eye open. <laughs> We'll stream it. I'll keep something. one eye open. Uh, uh, so that's the thing we're gonna try and do now. Actually, is stream sometimes maybe. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, we stream some WoW. Um, Just kind of manly on Twitch. Is that what our Twitch is? Yeah, same thing. Nice and easy. Yeah. It's it's on Twitch, so you can see it 
Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, right yeah. there. Just kind of manly on twitch.com. On twitch.com. <laughs> dot LED. Um, yeah, we should be uh, streaming fucking whatever we want to play. Uh, there's yeah. going to be no rhyme, no reason, organization. Or time frame. Whenever we get together. Um, there's not... Because we still have jobs. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's never, ever, even if we this becomes a full-time job, there's never going to be a schedule for this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's we're on when we're on. Because one I, of us could die. I, I, <laughs> okay. No one will ever know. <laughs> I, ideally, what's going to happen is uh, whoever is in the mood to play something starts streaming, and because mm-hmm. you're going to have a PC, I'm going to have a PC. One day you might have internet, and collectively, ideally, someone will be putting and, content you know, on the channel. And maybe, maybe streaming will open up the doors for us to do stuff more often because, like, I could find a way to remotely tune in with you guys here, yeah. and you know, we're going to get you one of these at your place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's it's going to be uh, less of a commitment than recording because I do not have the time to sit down and edit hours of footage, uh, which is why our uploads have been so scarce. Um, well, we also had a hardware failure. We lost a lot of footage and stuff that w- yes, was going to be going on. new up. computer now um, yeah. because we blew the last one up. And the one before that, we blew that up as well. <laughs> yeah, <actually. laughs> yeah, we went through yeah, two we computers. <laughs> we A bunch of files were lost in any uh, in, in attempts to lifeboat uh, that yeah. stuff onto a hard drive. Miles has a few saved from um, his hard drive. And then, yeah, between ske- have, scheduling yeah. conflicts and uh, some uh, physical ailments... Uh, that's why we haven't been uploading. Uh, yeah. There is there is a reason. For yeah, that. despite our best uh, intentions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, streaming will be much easier. Um, I don't think we're going to stream to YouTube. Probably not. I think it'll stick to Twitch, um, and then. But do, how long do our videos stay on there for? On Twitch, two weeks. So if that. there's anything that I that we feel is worth putting on. YouTube. Yeah, we we may try and chop some stuff up and throw it on YouTube. But like, if we can save uh, my attempt to ban Miles, that might, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that might be uh, YouTube worthy. That, uh, that was some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're learning the ins and outs of Twitch. Uh, we don't know how it works. Um, I don't know how the app works. I, I freaking... As far as I'm aware of, most people that stream on Twitch are part of, like, a community or something like that. Uh, we're not going to be part of anything, ever. Um... We're Until just, we sell out. Yes, uh, we are hopefully going to sell out one day. It would yeah. be nice to make money, but... I if just... you would like to buy us, we are for sale. Yes, uh, very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> very cheap. We don't require much. Just some clean towels and bread. That's, that's no, basically. we got the bread. Our mics are plugged into it. That's true, actually. But we're going to need more bread because the, the mic keeps sucking up all the bread I guess, energy. I guess I never said... The bread energy. <laughs> I guess I never said the name of this podcast. Well, how come we're just kind of loafing? Just kind of loafing. You Should I put cont- that at the front of the... No, no. no. Good. <laughs> no, we are... This is how organized we are. We are professional as all AF. Yes. Um, but yeah, I maybe couldn't but tell that's by gonna, the picture. I think that's going to be uh, just the general mood for all of these is as far from professional as it can be because none of us... Are from Nunavut. Are from Nunavut and they're professional. <laughs> Uh, we did make an email address. If you if you are actually out there and listening to this, if there's a single person on the internet that hears this podcast and makes it this far, and you want to tell us at something, type nipples in the chat. <laughs> uh, just kind of loafing, uh, no g at the end of loafing uh, at gmail.com That is just kind of loafing at gmail.com uh, the Link will be in the description. Sure. Can we link emails in the description? Sure we can. Ban so, us. With the right attitude. Yeah, Google, don't ban us just because you suck ass and you're never going to get better. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Google. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Google Cortana's listening. Right. What's the Google lady? Oh, oh an Alexa? No. Google Alexa. No. <laughs> fuck Alexa. No, it's just okay, Google. Google Alexa, play oh, Disc oh, oh, City. Alexa's Amazon. <laughs> Alexa's Amazon. Yeah, Google's just listen, okay, Google. Listen, Alexa's Amazon from Google. <laughs> How about a big cup of shut the Dog fuck toys! Up. <laughs> I would like dog toys! Single dog toys in my area! <laughs> For sale! We're gonna get dog toy ads. Yeah. Alright, that's uh that's it for the podcast. Uh have a goodbye.